Hi guys, uh, this is a quick rundown on the gear that we're using and we'll start with the um, antennas. Um, we're using the Hobby King 5.8GHz uh, video system. This was the original antenna for the transmitter and we've replaced it with the Cloverleaf and that, that gives you an idea of the actual size of it. And we have the receiver antenna which is the original one and that's also been replaced this time with a skew planer so what you have here let me just try and focus this okay so what you have here is the clover leaf antenna and as you can see there are three clovers and that sort of gives you an idea of what it looks like I'm not sure how clear that is so that's the clover leaf three clovers and we have the skew planer same sort of thing exactly except we have four clovers so that's for your receiver sorry that's for yeah that's, that's right skew planer for your receiver and we have the clover leaf for your transmitter which goes on your aircraft and what I'll do now is quickly run you through um, the aircraft and the setup that we have okay so this is the basic setup we have on the Bixler that's the original canopy and what we've done is replaced it with uh, this one here which is just basically a bit of foam that we cut out with a hot wire cutter and what we've done underneath is we've put the uh, tin or metal I think it is uh, little tags which connect up with the magnetic magnets on the actual aircraft and basically a bit of balsa and that sort of goes in and clicks in place and what we have here is the GPS system we've got the camera this is the camera that we view through we have a camera for recording this is just one of those keychain cameras probably replace this whole setup with a GoPro and what we have here is the transmitter and that's connected up there so that's the basic setup and what I'll do now is go through the actual wiring and just to give you an idea of how messy it gets in here we have a lot of wires in there and so that's probably the only downside with using all this stuff but um, it's not too bad once you've got it all set up okay so we'll start with the transmitter first this is the transmitter that goes on the aircraft and what we have starting from the left we've got the red wire obviously positive and the black wire negative and what we also have here is the yellow wire is actually the video in or the video out I should say coming from the camera or the on-screen display in this, in this case and we have the red for power which is um, provided to the camera and we also have the black wire which is the negative um, also your ground for your video signal which is the yellow cable okay and we'll run through the rest of it now what we have here is the Hobby King camera so we're talking about the camera that I'm going to view through and that's got three wires coming off it basically your black your positive negative and obviously your video signal out now that comes all the way through um, into this part of the on-screen display so basically what we've got is the yellow wire which is the video in is coming from uh, the camera which is the white wire and obviously we've, we have the positive and the negative that are also connected to the camera so they're being fed into here so the video signal is coming in and it's coming in via that yellow cable which is connected to the white cable on the video camera then what we have is the white cable which is your video out which is a signal going out and that's going to be connected all the way along here straight into uh, the transmitter and that's connected to the yellow wire and obviously you have your positive negative um, and we have the positive negative out here so that's pretty much self-explanatory and that positive negative is also used to power the video camera and also power the transmitter positive and negative so these four cables are for your video in and video out uh, video in from the video camera and video out is going straight to your transmitter okay 
we also have this connector here, which is the reset button. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Okay, the reset button. And that's just plugged into there. And that's used to reset the on-screen display. And down this end, this connector here, which is kind of covered, goes straight to the GPS system. And what we also have is the positive and negative here. If you follow that all the way through, and that's where it ends up. And that will basically plug into your balance connector on your battery. And that'll basically power the whole system. Now I'm not sure how clear that is and whether this makes any sense or not. But if you look at the actual documentation that comes with this gear and sort of refer to this video, it should help. If you have any issues, by all means, um, post or ask a question. What I've also done is I've actually cut away a little bit of plastic here just to allow ventilation for this chip which gets quite warm and I've also done the same for the back so that chip there has been cut away the plastic just to allow it to breathe a bit and I don't seem to have any issues with overheating or anything and that's pretty much all there is to it uh, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe also uh, in the description I'll have a link to all the components I've used within this video hope you found that useful thanks for watching